Hello and welcome back to the channel. So if you're new to the channel, this channel talks about DaVinci Resolve, some tips and tricks. We go through color grading and editing. You can go to my website and download the files that we color grade with so you can follow along with all the YouTube tutorials that we've gone through. But today we're actually going to talk about editing and we're going to talk about something that you're going to come across a lot whilst editing and that is gaps in your timeline. So the other week we went through how to fill these gaps, but there is actually a quicker and simpler way and pain-free way to do it. And all you got to do is come up to your edit and then you want to go down to delete gaps. Now all your footage is going to push against each other and all those gaps are going to be gone. Now the best thing about this is, is that when it goes on, let's say these two clips here won't jump all the way across to here. And what I mean by that is if we were to move these clips they're not going to go all the way to here. They're just going to go to here. So again, go to your edit tab, go down to delete gaps. And as you can see, all those gaps have been filled. Now, what I would recommend is having a shortcut key for that, because that is something you're going to use all the time. So to make that shortcut, what we're going to do is come up to DaVinci Resolve, keyboard customization, and then go to your edit, which is the edit tab, obviously. And then you're going to find that delete gaps. So if you're having trouble finding something, all you got to do is come to the search and just punch it in here. And that'll come up, but we know it's here. It is in alphabetical order, so it makes it pretty easy. So let's make that shortcut. All you got to do is highlight the one you want to change. And let's say we want to use Control Q. Now, as you can see, DaVinci Resolve comes up and says, you've already got this. So if you do this, it's going to override the other one. So we don't want that. Let's go to Cancel. That is a good way to know that you're never going to override something. So highlighting delete gaps again, holding control, let's say control H. So now we know that it's not in conflict with anything else. So we can go ahead and use that one. So to come down to save, and then you can have a preset name for it. So let's just call it gaps. So that's all saved off. So we can just press close. So let's see if that worked. Let's highlight these clips and just move them across. And again, using our shortcut control H. And as you can see, it works perfectly. That is a really good trick and something you will use a lot when you're editing in DaVinci Resolve. Something I use all the time, so I highly recommend having that shortcut key. It's going to save you a lot of time and a lot of hassle. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. If you have, make sure to subscribe to the channel and have a great night and thanks for watching.